Go ahead, go ahead. All right, we're going to try this again. There we go. Woo. Yeah, let's get out of here. I just posted the full happily ever after that I had from my channel that I had filmed. So that was from like a few months ago. I'll have to refilm it, but it's from the front row. Like literally it might have been too close, but it's right up front. But I just posted it on the page, so we can just watch it that way. Alrighty then. Let's go see Peter Pan. And uh, yeah, let's. I made it back up to the front. Note to self, just stick to our normal spot. I don't think it makes much of a difference. Uh, filming spot, trash can back there was good, but now we know we're not going to go there for our uh, future live streams because it does. we don't do well back there. Most, a lot of people are leaving, which is good. Yay. All right, let's go. We're gonna do the people mover and we have a fast pass to Peter Pan, so we can fly. <laughs> fly out of here. <laughs> There's the side of the castle, cause it's so pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pretty. I love Magic Kingdom at night. It's so pretty. All right. So I just posted the full video on the page so you can just watch that later. That's a recorded full front row happily ever after that I shot a few months ago. So, but that was filmed, I believe. So we should be good there. Now it's pretty crispy. <sighs> Yep, it's all wet back here because they spray it all down so no buildings catch on fire. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Awesome. Oh, it's an excellent day so far. I wanted to give you a full awesome Magic Kingdom day since I am off for two days starting tomorrow. So I want to leave you with a lot, a lot of magic. <laughs> you know, you get plenty of streams to watch in the next couple of days. And I'll be back Sunday with Rob, because Sunday will be Epcot Day, Crazy Hat Day. Rob has all the hats. <laughs> all right, we're going to go see Peter and Wendy. And yeah, we got lucky. We got a Peter Pan um, pass pass here. So, park closes at 10 so we're gonna try to squeeze as much stuff as we can as possible Peter Pan is a short ride so it's beautiful it's classic Disney dark ride we're just moving on up here moving on up walking briskly walking briskly <laughs> mine train still looks like it's got a really long line because it always does. Pooh doesn't look bad. Winnie the Pooh does not look bad. Look, very quick. Doesn't look like it's bad at all. Mine train is still at 55 minutes. That's probably the shortest I've ever seen it. I'm, then maybe do it that way. Do it as the last ride of the night. I know, that is 55 minutes. Because remember, as long as you're in line, you could get in line at like 10 o'clock, they still have to let you ride. So as long as you're in the line by 10, they'll, they'll, they'll run that ride until everybody's done. So remember that. You could always do it as your last ride of the day. We got this. So much better, good, because everybody leaves right after the fireworks. The back side of the castle. Happen all those strollers. They're gone. It's amazing. Hey guys, oh yeah, much better. We don't have a hundred thousand of our closest friends, Todd. 
they've all gone back to the resort. But that's like the hardest car to get out of because um, you're going to get ankled and lose some toes and elbows and limbs. <laughs> um, yeah, I never wear like open-toed shoes at Magic Kingdom. I just don't. That's just asking for it. Plus, you know, yeah. It's, it's very very hard all right we're here we're here perfect yeah we made it look the line is still really long for yeah it looks like uh yeah we're much better i'm so glad yeah park closes at 10 so we're definitely good here glad you guys are all back yeah they do once upon a time at 9 45 we'll hopefully be able to catch it when we're on the people mover that's my plan laura beth that's my plan so one day i'll just film it like that way i could give you crispy um so line is so long so for peter pan huh. i don't know what the uh Standby rate is like still. I think it's still quite a bit. This ride is like mine train. It's still always like an hour. Oh, are you? Oh, are you together? Oh yeah, yeah, good. Still busy. What's standby right now? Sixty? Forty? It's not bad. But that's just. I mean, mine train's at fifty-five. I was like, what? <laughs> Below an hour? Oh, never. knew me they do no no extra magic hours tonight god forbid uh, <laughs> you know no it's it's not tonight i think it was this morning wasn't it it's usually in the morning they don't do night too much they do now you have to pay for it at night it's like disney after dark it's like 129 dollars when they do extra magic hours kind of at night but you have to pay for that right it's called disney after dark isn't it when they do it at night now no, we have extra magic hours at night for resort guests on Monday. On Wednesdays, okay, because I know usually we've been doing it on mornings now. Yeah, like we have mornings one day a week and one day. One day a week, okay. Only Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Only Wednesdays, good to know, good to know. Because I know we did the, you guys did the Disney After Dark, like, yeah. paid it's event, which was awesome. I said, you want to walk on every ride? I pay that extra $129. It's, you're just visiting one time. It's worth it. So there you go. They said one time a week they do daytime, extra magic hours, and on Wednesday nights is when they do extra magic hours at night, only on Wednesdays. So there you go. When in doubt, ask. Oh, I'm just, I'm just used to it. <sighs> I just walk and I walk. And I'm just used to doing it. I mean, you get used to it after a while. It's my workout, getting the guns over here, carrying my rig. My rig's pretty heavy, but I like my rig because it's, it's heavy, and it's mine. I'm used to, used to it. Yeah, you can't have any flash. You just get used to I can see pretty well in the dark, actually. I mean, it's pretty much lit up. It's not too terribly dark. Yeah. We're at 10, 10 o'clock, so it's still pretty crowded. Yeah, the fireworks were not cute, Wendy. I just posted it on the page, so check the posts right now here on Streaming the Magic. I posted a full YouTube video of the full fireworks from the front row. I chose a, the spot we were at today was very bad for live streaming, but excellent if you're filming. So if you're coming on vacation and you want to film the fireworks, go to Jen's trash can where we were tonight that was perfect because you got to see the whole thing you could zoom if you'd like but you got to see the background um with happily ever after you have to be able to see the castle that's pretty much the like a huge part of the show so yeah a lot of people are doing their last like couple of fast passes here so fantasy land is always packed at the end of the night especially peter pan peter pan is classic dark ride very much like mine train a lot of the kids can go on this ride doesn't really matter how tall or little little they are that's why it's super popular oh me too i love carousel of progress um no they spray down the top like uh tops of the building and then it ends up dripping down um yeah it's just it's just like it would be raining they they spray the tops of the buildings yeah I know, miss you guys too for two days. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for hanging out with me. 
I appreciate very much, and I do enjoy our our wonderful Ohana here, our family, like you said. This is our Ohana, our STM Ohana. Ooh, we could probably walk on to Small World, too. Look, there's nobody there. Hmm. I'm curious. We can see if maybe we could, ah, like a TikTok, looking all, like, shocked over there. What? <laughs> oh, they spray water on the tops of the buildings in Fantasyland so they don't catch fire during the fireworks. Like, you know, like a sprinkler system. That's why it's always wet back here at the end of the day, like at, after fireworks, because they spray down the tops of the building so we don't get any, um, you know, like you don't accidentally set a building on fire. Awesome, Tim. Glad you had good weather. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'll be working on my days off, you know. You gotta actually make magic and uh, <laughs> put in some time. That's okay, it'll be fine. I hope so. I think they're, um, yeah, the carousel's still running. They're just painting it still. It's still got that tarp on the outside, that little uh, scaffolding. Not tarp, but it's like a covered scaffolding. They're still work on, working on it at night. They're, like, working on it underneath there, but the ride stays open. That way um, they can work on it at night. But it, they just painted the tarp so it looks like the outside of, uh, like, the scrim. You know how when they do that on Main Street? They just painted the scrim, but it's still working. It's just got that cover around it. Nope, still not finished, Iris. Yep. Nice, John. Nice. Yeah, good. Behind is beautiful. Um, catch some of the streams that we've done. My other favorite spot is right by Beast's Castle. So you're kind of in between um, Cinderella Castle and Beast. So it's um, filmed right by Be Our Guest, the restaurant. So much roomier, no claustrophobia, no popping kids on the shoulders. Nobody got their flash on. So if you get claustrophobic and you don't like crowds, we were like in a sea of, you know, 80,000 of our closest friends tonight. It's not a good spot to be right in front of the castle. If you've seen it before, it's awesome to do the side. We, we did that for the past month because of spring break. You couldn't even film near the castle because the signal was just so bad. So many people there. Yeah. Behind is beautiful. It's kind of like a ping pong. You gotta go look here, look there, but it's gorgeous. Um, the side view is also really good. So if you film right by Sleepy Hollow Inn in Liberty Square, that's another really good spot to film because you kind of still you still see the side view of the projections. Keep um, all the way down, everybody. But you do have a little bit of a tree line. Um, where we were was perfect to film. So if you're just gonna film. I will just film. You don't need to lie because you can upload it later and then post it on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you want to post it. You know, I have to live stream because that's what we do. So it's very, very hard to do live when there's a lot of people. But back there was beautiful and it was so nice and roomy by Enchanted Tales with Belle by Be Our Guest. It's a good spot to watch the fireworks if you get claustrophobic or if you have kids that can't really be in a crowd, or just family members, you know, that can't be in a crowd like that. It's a great, great spot to do it, yeah. Oh, awesome, Harry, sounds great. Yeah, they're every direction, you get the proscenium. I like behind Frontierland, too. I think it's great, and, and minus the claustrophobia. <laughs> That's a big part today, it was very tight over there. Yeah, Peter Pan is like mine train. That's 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 why when you have the um, the multiple experience pass, like say one of your fast passes, one of your rides broke down, the two rides you can't use your like free multiple experience pass on is Peter Pan and Mine Train, because these are two of the busiest lines no matter what time of day. You're welcome, Tim. Oh, meltdown, meltdown. Yeah, it's only 9.30 in Orlando. It's not too terribly late. Hey, Jackie. Nice. Perfect. So much nicer back here. Claustrophobia in front of the castle. 
I'm ready to fly. <laughs> Relax a little bit. Yay! <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. We're off to Neverland. Oh, it's just like Haunted Mansion. I don't have to pull down the bar. Pixie dust. Wow, I love it. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Nana. Um, Art of Animation has the sweets. Pop does not. But art, they're right next to each other. So worth it. Whee! Hey, girl. Oh, yeah. Always. Well, not always. Usually I am. Nice. Pop is fun. Just walk over to art. Mr. Smee. Hey, boys. Is that Ariel's mom? Yep. Yes. Tiger Lily. Mr. Smee. <laughs> no. Help me, Mr. Smee. Help me. Oh, breaks. Absolutely classic Disney dark ride. Then exit to your right onto the wooden belt and watch your step. Magic, thank you. Okay, that was good. All right. I know, such a long wait for a very short ride. That's why I do it at the end of the night. Woo, Small World's a walk-on. We already did Small World today, so we're gonna try to do Haunted Mansion here, guys. Let's do it. Because we gotta end the day with my most favorite attraction in the whole wide world, but yep, Peter Pan's flight. Still 40 minutes at the end of the night. I've seen it worse. I've seen it like 75 minutes, 90 minutes at the end of the night. We're walking by the Punzi bathrooms. These are the Rapunzel bathrooms, the prettiest bathrooms in all of Magic Kingdom. And there's her tower. And all your hidden Pascals. So during the day, they have a little, this is where uh, they have a little area here where you can look for all the hidden Pascals. This is the lantern. Um, photo op spot. See, line's always long, but back here behind this queue is a little seating area that has like charging, like where you can plug in your phone for a minute, you know? 
so they have a little charging station back there but like i said your time is precious at disney so just grab a fuel rod and go because you can always just switch it out at your leisure for free this is my kind of night my kind of night walking in walking in the haunted mansion 10 minutes we just gonna do standby because there is no wait it's a beautiful thing guys this is my most favorite attraction in the whole wild whole whole wide world that's right mandy better late than never we'll just catch it on the replay girl catch it on the replay we did a lot of fun stuff today we even got stuck on the jungle cruise for a minute we were frolicking with the elephants for a while so yep you gotta do we never go through this aisle so you gotta do the riddle right here who killed who we never get to see this because we always do fast pass but since standby is all walk on you can play with the animals good you can just play with the instruments so you enter yep you entertain yourself and then the piano is a ravenscroft an ode to third ravenscroft so my favorite one right here is the kitty cat <laughs> uh yeah backside of water yeah you're getting me there sorry guys there we go i overextend my gimbal sometimes <laughs> there's prudence there's the captain hey captain and here's master gracie since we never go through this interactive queue speak with the dearly departed Wait, i've got it cake of course oh i hope you made a good wish let's try another one okay sweet hera had taken a cruise to manila mm. she was thrown overboard by an angry monkey's uncle this Mo is driving no me no monkey's uncle this you can push these back they're like a crypt cryptograph and if you want to know where the bride's ring is great yeah this is a great location for the party the bride's ring is right over here really hard to see in the dark but there it is guys hang on uh do you see it do you see it it's right there there's the bride's ring do you see it it's right by this one trash can you can only see it Got it? Bride's ring. <laughs> All right. Scar is the monkey's uncle. Yes, I was just trying to show you all the cool things in the interactive queue. It's like a second home for me here. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, we never. I never get to show you guys the interactive queue because we always have a fast pass. But I knew it'd be a walk on at the end of the night because it usually is. Oh my, that hurts. Leota at the end. Oh, cute dog. I was just trying to get in here before uh, the park closes at 10, so we're trying to just squish as much stuff in as possible. <laughs> I was just trying to get in here. Yeah, we'll have to do a leisurely tour of the interactive queue for sure. But we are at the Haunted Mansion. 
You're cracking me up, Lance. That's funny. Hey, at least you're multitasking. Yeah, they don't have Leota all lit up over there. I did post a uh, a video on the channel here of, of a full happily ever after like video so I shot that a few months ago but it's at least it's a full full front row view one so it can't get any closer than that <laughs> absolutely Ruby stick around here with us you'll learn a lot I'm all about the fun facts and show you about We'll definitely show you a good time, that's for sure. We have a ton of our uh, live streams all archived in our uh, YouTube channel, so they pretty much go up the same day that uh, the stream occurs. So you could definitely check out, you know, Streaming the Magic on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. Same thing here on Facebook. Make sure you like and then make sure your notifications are enabled. That way that you can get notifications at all of our live streams. Oh, dead center in the front, like my normal spot, front row, like boom, right in the middle. That's my normal spot, should have just stayed there. Well, I tried something different tonight, you know, that's the only way you're going to learn is trial and error, but um, that spot we were at tonight is good for filming, so if you have a good DSLR or you're just going to film, you're not going to live stream, I would just film. If you're coming here on vacation, that way just just record it with your phone, your camera. That way it's crispy. If you're using 1080, 60 frames, or if you're shooting in 4K video, you have it in the best resolution possible. You're not a slave to the signal. You can, you can utilize your device to the best of its ability. No, the park is not open to midnight. No, it is not. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do the train on a different day, Lance. Um, yeah, I definitely want to do the railroad again. Maybe Monday. How about Monday? We can do it on Monday for Magical Monday. And strange, frightening sounds going right today, right, oh, right, right. nope, left, 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 <laughs> I wasn't sure, I didn't hear the elevator, I usually know which side it opens, but it's usually this one, yep, exactly, staying back here, <laughs> there we go, not in anybody's way. Surely. <laughs> the real kills. <laughs> As they say, the 
Look alive. <laughs> Getting on the doom buggy. <laughs> a carriage awaits to take us to the boundless realm of the supernatural. <laughs> Room. It's like the Florida room. This is the Winchester House MC Escher inspired room. Yes, I love it when I'm stuck. chair you see Donald Duck's face on it that's the Donald chair this chair right over here you can't see it but look at that chair next time
And we don't have the crack in our uh, window either. Disneyland's um, mirror is cracked for their glass. time favorite attraction ever. Oh no, it's 10 o'clock. Darn. <laughs> and a ghost will follow you home. They watch your step. It's a good way to end the day. It's awesome. We can probably walk through the queue again a little bit um, slower now because, um, yeah, it's closed. So we can just walk through the queue if they let us, maybe not. Good night. Yeah, they're all like blocked off over here. Darn. I was trying to see if we had like five minutes to spare if I could just jump on one more ride. <laughs> yes, Paul Fries, Exitensio, Mark Davis, and this is Memento Mori. It is the Haunted Mansion gift shop. But nothing better than shutting the park down at night. It's glorious. Yeah, I've watched the fireworks from back here also. It's pretty fun. It gets a little less crowded, you know. Liberty Bell is still not, she's still not up. I am hoping she's up for Dapper Day because I saw, I have to order my dress. Oh my goodness, it's not going to get here in time if I don't order it by, by now. Um, we're going to do Dapper Day. Dapper Day is the end of 
April. So the 27th, the Friday is at Disney Springs. The Saturday is here at Magic Kingdom. And the Sunday is over at Epcot. So, yeah, I was just trying to get like a purple halter dress maybe. I'm trying to hopefully just be able to go to the mall or something and find one. Because I, I want to try it on. Because a lot of times, you know, it's hard to order things online. Especially if you're short like me. Uh, you know, short people. But just trying to find like a fit and flare kind of halter type dress in purple. You know, because we were trying to do the, um, I've got to redo the Darkwing Duck ears. And glue them on a little bit with E6000 because that fabric... It's kind of that cosplay, kind of rubbery fabric. It's hard to keep on. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm trying to... Disbound, you know, obviously Darkwing, because that's Robin. Rob's going to do that. So, we're kind of just trying to match him, you know. So, it's like a purple-pink, kind of purple and pink kind of ensemble there. Oh yes, it is great. Yes. Here's another spot to watch the fireworks, by the way. You cannot watch it from the bridge. So you have to be within this little area here where yonder trash can is. It's right in front of Sleepy Hollow Treats, where the chicken and waffle sandwiches are. And then you have, of course, the Christmas shop over here. This is another good spot when the, um, if the front is too crowded and you get claustrophobic, just come right up here. You can't go all the way here because they block it off that walkway, but you can watch it from here. So you can still see the projections right here, but you will have this tree in the way, but you can still see the fireworks from the top, but you will still be able to see the side of the castle. So this one's another good spot. We, sh we did a bunch of happily ever afters here during spring break the last few weeks. So we've done that. This is another good spot also. If you don't fancy trying to, um, you know, be with your 500 of your favorite friends. Also, fun fact that this weird two-tone road here at Liberty Square, because this is set in Colonial America where there were no public toilets. There are no public restrooms here in Liberty Square. You have to go to a neighboring land. Because back in the day, they would throw their waste and sewage out the window so this is what it kind of represents this kind of two-toned you have the red and then you have this brownish different color so you're basically walking on sewage quote unquote that's what it's supposed to represent realism they're all going for realism here but that's a fun fact may not have known that and you're now going to think about that every time you walk to liberty square going ew <laughs> but it's true fun fact Yeah, awesome, Todd. Yep. Dapper Day is the day where everybody wears their um, period type theme. Because back in the 50s, you know, it was an event to come to Disneyland. People would dress up in their Sunday best. So it's anywhere from 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever themed attire. Usually girls wear, you know, pin curls and you have those fit and flare, kind of like the dresses at Cherry Tree Lane. A lot of those clothes are for Dapper Day and guys wear like the fedoras and the suits, you know, like it's just kind of period attire and everybody looks really awesome. You go to, to the park, sorry, you go to the park in your Sunday best, but more period themed. That's what Dapper Day is. It started at Disneyland, California, actually. They do have a big expo, de expo there and everything. So Dapper Day is twice a year here and it's a big, big thing, actually. So I never get to go to Dapper Day, so I'm pretty, ex I usually work, so I'm pretty excited that I'll be able to go this year. So pumped about that. So I gotta plan my ensemble and there's a bunch of different groups that come meet up here and take photos and stuff. I'm just gonna go to the park dressed up nice and take a bunch of pictures and we'll just have fun that day. So of course you get to, that's true Jackie, I get you there girl. But you know, that's all suffering for a very big prize at the end. <laughs> That is awesome. Yeah, they did say, Bailey, I did ask them that their extra magic hours at night 
is on Wednesday nights. And then they do one more during the day. Um, so during the week, they have one early extra magic hours, and then they have one late one. Trying to get you your uh, screenshot here. Did you get it? Yes, we just, we saw, we caught part of it Monday, Great Moments in History, Just the American Parts. We caught it on, um, watch the Monday's live stream. It was on there. Yes, we find it. We, we did uh, catch that last time. Yes, Hall of Presidents is great. So, yep, you heard that during Keys of the Kingdom. You're like, ew, gross. Yes inside the restaurant because that is required <laughs> but you're not going to find any that's not a public restroom that belongs in a building but there are no public restrooms in liberty square not public because you can't just roll up in there you know it's it's in a restaurant so but there are no public you know just like these public restrooms right here in liberty square but it is part of the keys of the king i'm sure they do mention that on that tour for sure trying to be all authentic like <laughs> Friday is morning. There you go. Friday is morning. Wednesday is evening. So, morning's probably better. Although the nighttime extra magic, I love closing the park down. It excites me. <laughs> I enjoy it. It's fun. Oh, good. Free returns. Yeah, the Wednesdays are, yeah, they should be doing Kiss Goodnight any minute, actually. Yeah, they really should be doing that right about now. Yeah, back in 1975. Yep, back in the day. Liberty Tree Tavern. Yep. There are in the restaurants because restaurants have bathrooms. That's very important. I'm in food and beverage, so that's more a necessity. So it's it's not a public restroom. That's It's inside a restaurant. As in like these freestanding public restrooms. They don't have any of those in Liberty Square. And the restaurants, yes, because they're a restaurant. <laughs> You're going to have that for the employees and the um, and the guests, because that's important. Oh, there's still a lot of people going on here. Ooh, we've got a whole slew of people leaving now. I'm just trying to... The Emporium shops, the shops do stay open an hour later. So if the park closes at 10, they are open an hour. Shop at the end of the day. Works out better. Huh, maybe we should go get a Starbucks and get a tea for the road. I think that's a lovely idea. Hi. Uh, oh, okay. I thought they were in line out the door. I'm like, really? Starbucks line out the door this late? I love the smell of coffee. It excites me. Mm, that's right. I always forget that they have the Caesar here. So when in doubt, you could just do that. Oops, sorry. Oh, the phone. Perfect. Thank you for reminding me. Let's do that. You need a Starbucks too? I got you, boo. I got you. I'm sending you virtual Starbucks. I'm just going to get a tea, my pineapple black tea infusion. I'm going to show you how I order it because for my low-carb, sugar-free folks, it's my favorite tea here. I'm obsessed. It's so good. They came out with it in the summer, but that's I always, I just love, I love the taste of it. It's so good. I love tea. I love sweet tea. I'm, you know, grew up in the South. <laughs> but I lived in the South for most of my life, so... You know, when I was a wee thing, I lived in Cali, but I consider myself a southerner because I spent most of my life in the south. Oh, look at those delicious treats. Mm. Nope. <laughs> Gonna wait till Sunday. I think they should have a different level for Starbucks, not just like gold. They should have like platinum. You know, if you've been a gold member for like at least five years, you should have at least a higher membership. 
I'm at the contemporary today, yeah. It's easy, Sherry, for sure. You'll take the caramel macchiato. You can still keto the caramel macchiato. You just um, substitute the vanilla because, you know, they put vanilla syrup in it and then the um, the caramel the caramel on top. You just ask for the sugar-free vanilla. Yeah, the tumbler is different than the... This is the new tumbler this year. Last year's tumbler is like... It just said Disney Parks. It was still cute, but this is the newer tumbler for this year. No, don't cry, Bailey. Yeah. They do change during the week. Yep. You just check your times. Just check your app, guys. Just check your app. It's usually on your TV at your resort, but your app is your Bible. Like I always said, that's your best friend. So just consult your My Disney Experience app. It also does change during the holidays because when we have parties, party nights are a whole different story. Park closes early. Do not plan a Magic Kingdom day on a party night. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party starts in August. August 17th because Halloween is starting now. I mean, August 17th. That's how we roll around here. So don't plan a Magic Kingdom day and you want to be here all day on a party night unless you have a party ticket because you'll be like what the park was is a seven what are you talking about so you're not going to get the maximum hours you need if that's what you're doing so consult the calendar if you are trying to plan a Magic Kingdom day make sure it's not on a party night Jeez, jeez. oh I do I slept like a baby I slept like till 9 30 10 o'clock <laughs> so we've been good we've been good we got a lot of sleeping yesterday and today so we've been doing good tomorrow is what's really gonna throw me off i'm kind of normally on the same schedule so this is easy but tomorrow and saturday is the whole i have to go work nights like i don't go into work till 3 30 in the morning 3 30 in the afternoon but i have to be at work till almost 2 30 till 2 30 in the morning it's a long day but no fun at all hopefully i can get out sooner than later but like as far as i can't close earlier than one o'clock but still and by the time you're done like cleaning up and breaking everything down it's like another hour so it is quite long yeah I always forget that in a pinch i can just come here and get the chicken caesar salad because that caesar salad is delicious you know and they have is it full fat dressing I need full fat. Two carbs. Killing me with that two carbs. Um, but two is better than... Yeah, they're both two carbs. And hard-boiled eggs, guys. There you go. Don't fall off the wagon. <laughs> I do. I sleep like a baby. Actually, on keto, you sleep like nobody's business. Because in the magnesium, I take my mag supplement at night. Magnesium helps you sleep. So I, I sleep like a baby. I'm like that, like the Energizer Bunny, that I'm going, going, going. But when I'm asleep, like when I'm going to bed, like you pull the batteries out and I'm out like a light. I'm like a two-year-old. I fall right asleep and I sleep hard. I hit REM pretty fast. Like that's why usually I try not to fall asleep on the couch because I have such a hard time getting back up to even walk upstairs. <laughs> so Rob just knows to leave me because if I do, I get all ornery. Or I make sure I just go straight upstairs. That way I don't get all ornery. Hi there. Hello. May I please get a Trenta pineapple black tea infusion? Uh, no lemonade, no liquid cane. And sweeten it. I'll just sweeten it myself. Jen G. Ian. Solid green. Thank you. 
Good. Yep, that is your best friend. Everything is on that app, pretty much. Alright, let me just wait for this tea. Yep, I can hear it now. Kiss Goodnight is going on. It's just going to keep going on. But just grab a times guide if you're not like an app person, but you're going to have to learn that app no matter what because it's whew, hard to manage Walt Disney World without your app. Um, but the times guide is always a good thing too. But if you're staying at the resort, it's on your TV too. So if you're just watching the TV like in your resort, the extra magic hour show up on the TV. And if you happen to go on the... Uh, Disney Springs channel on your resort television and it's kind of a big like six minute long commercial keep an eye out on that commercial because you might see somebody you know <laughs> for like a second and a half but just saying you might find somebody you know in that commercial oh no you'll have to get a new mug Bailey Yes. Um, Tanya loves to do the water parks, but we're definitely going to do the water parks this summer because obviously it's going to get really, really hot. So it'll be fun. It'll be a two-man job. Rob can film me going down the ride, Summit Plummet, and then he can, and I can do vice versa for sure. Yeah, we definitely want to do like Typhoon or Blizzard since I kind of live in the water parks in the summer. It's just hot, too hot to do anything else. Absolutely, we're going to do that. I know Tanya loves to do the, the beach um, so she does like to stream from there too a ton. So I said we just ha should have a beach party bingo kind of thing, and everybody hang out at Typhoon. It'll be super fun. Yeah, but we start. I know it's too early for Halloween. It's crazy. An Americano, excellent. That's it, Christy. I do an Americano as well. Very, very good. Yes. Thank you so much. On keto and an Americano, exactly what Christy said. Pineapple, black tea infusion, unsweetened, no liquid cane. You want a Trenta, black. You want a Trenta, pineapple, black tea infusion, no lemonade, no liquid cane. You can sub Splenda. They don't have Stevia at this one. Epcot has the Stevia, the green packets. I usually do about 13. 13 is the magic number for the Trenta. That's why I always carry my own. It's always in my backpack between the uh, Brain Octane and my handy dandy Splenda Zero. Because this Splenda is different than this Splenda. This Splenda in a packet has maltodextrin. Bad, bad, bad. This one is pure sucralose. It does not have the maltodextrin. So you could just do a few squeezes of these ba this baby in there and it'll sweeten it. T to me, it tastes the most like sugar. Um... Stevia is good, but it, to me, it doesn't taste like sugar. I use it for baking and stuff like that. I prefer the sucralose. Sucralose is my non-sugar sweetener of choice. You know, some people can't have the pink stuff because they're allergic to aspartame or they're just trying to avoid it. But I definitely love the Splenda Zero, and you can get that at Wally World. Walmart, y'all, Walmart. So I just buy five or six of these, and when that one finishes up, I just stick grab another one and put it in my bag um because you can always order unsweetened tea um cold brew also is another good keto drink i do a venti or a trenta cold brew heavy whipping cream you always want heavy whipping cream as your um milk and then you could do like however many pumps of the sugar-free vanilla they also have a sugar-free cinnamon dolce syrup so i usually do like three pumps of cinnamon dolce four pumps of sugar-free vanilla and then um, top with whipped cream and then top with cinnamon, like cinnamon, like powdered cinnamon. Um, I always do that with my Bulletproof anyway. Um, yeah, you could do cold brew easily and it's delicious. You could always have them. You could do an iced coffee, same thing. Heavy whipping cream is always your, your base. And the whipped cream at Starbucks has no sugar because they make it from scratch. They use like heavy whipping cream and they use that um, CO2 canister, like regular awesome good whipped cream. Yum. Eat. There's a lot of stuff. Yep. I'm at Disney Springs. That is my, um, yep, I am. I'm like a two-year-old. Um, actually, once you get through keto really well, you sleep like a baby. 
because of the because of the um, I do uh, magnesium because you'll get like Charlie horses. That's how it, I know I'm in ketosis because I get like you should get a lot of like cramps because you're flushing out all your um, minerals and vitamins and stuff. Your your minerals, so your magnesium, potassium, and sodium. So you gotta just supplement it back in. I take just a, a you know nature made magnesium supplement and I take it at night because it does help you sleep. There's also like um, Calm, C-A-L-M. Here's the casting door, by the way, if you guys ever wanted to know where it was. Take your photo next to it. Um, there's a drink called Calm and you can drink it at night. It's like a magnesium. They have it at like Whole Foods. Um, Dr. Berg has his own. You can order it from Amazon too. It's kind of like a little drink. Put it in some water. At night it helps you go to sleep and it puts all those um, trace minerals back in your body like the potassium, the magnesium, all of that stuff. So that's another thing you could do at night. But I sleep like a baby on keto. I have no problem. But I'm the kind of person I can drink like six shots of espresso and go to sleep. Least crowded time, second, third, and fourth week in January. Never anymore. You're right, Debbie. Right. There's different seasons. When does your, there you go, 449 at Walmart. You got it, girl. You got it. Yes, that's Splenda Zero, heavy whipping cream. Because, Jan, um, think of it this way. The higher the fat, the lower the carbohydrates. When people make low-fat things, fat is flavor. Fat is delicious. Butter is delicious. When you take out the fat, you take out the flavor. To replace the flavor, they put sugar in. So if you've ever looked at, like, um, low-fat milk, like, the carbs on that is through the roof. I mean, it's like the higher, yeah, the higher the fat, the lower the carbs. So heavy whipping cream has zero carbohydrates. Half and half has like one. Oh, look at these new ones. Those are cute. Yep, there's a bunch of rose gold ears and millennial pink. <laughs> so millennial pink spirit jerseys are still not here, though. We're going to have to wake up. Probably another week or two, I will let you know. You'll be the first to know when they get here, you know. We all know Jen likes to shop. <laughs> I will keep my eye out for those millennial pink um, spirit jerseys, though. But, yeah. Um, yeah, Jan, check out that. Check out the Keto to the Kingdoms channel um, here on Facebook. And it has a bunch of good videos to watch. Um, and... Um, there's a video on there that explains how this whole fat hypothesis works and all of that good stuff. Sugar one too. So yeah, check it out for sure. Type one, yeah. See, type one diabetics cannot you cannot do keto because you have a non-insulin producing pancreas. But it's good to kind of eat low carb. I'm sure your doctor suggests that as well. And the Splenda Zero and the Stevia, doctors do suggest that a lot. Oh, look, it's Rob's shirt, guys. <laughs> yep. Yep, we're going to the phone. We're getting there. We're getting there. Got it. Got it. We're getting there. We're going to cross the road in a minute. Oh, no. Hot dogs? Yeah. Um, like the, uh, I like Hebrew National. I usually get like the beef knockwurst because like when it comes to meat, I try to get like organic or the higher fat meat. You want like the the fattiest ground beef like Costco. Costco has USDA choice and USDA and Prime. So I get a lot of my meat at Costco and they also have an awesome butcher here in Orlando if you guys ever come to Orlando or live here for you know even if you're here for a couple weeks and you're staying at like a DVC where you can cook your own meals. Petty's Meats. It's a P-E-T-T-Y-S. It's like a butcher. They have excellent cuts of meat at excellent prices. So all right, let's go find a spawn over here at Town Square. Is it closed? Or are they going to let us in? Mm. Oh, that's good. I think I may have overdone the apple cider vinegar this morning. That's probably why my stomach is a little churny. Usually, I just do one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in the morning and then one at night. But I got a little carried away today. I did two and two, I think. Yeah, I don't. Mm, let's see if they can still. Mm. 
where's the phone? Where's the party line phone? Is it in the dining room? Is it still around, or did you guys remove it? Like that old-fashioned, old-timey phone that you guys had that if you pick it up, it has the party line in it? It's supposed to be in this building. Ooh, it may not be here anymore. It used to be like you picked it up and then you could hear the two ladies talking on it. It's like a good old-fashioned party line. It used to be in here. They said it's on the side. I've got everybody tell them, oh, it's on the side, it's on the side. I'm just curious if it's gone. So that might be... Hmm. Yeah, let me know. Where's that phone, guys? Is it, am I looking at the wrong side? No? Or is it in this hallway? No, but it's not in that hallway. I looked at that hallway before. Yes, perfect, Leanne. All right, he's going to find out. Maybe it's gone because I, I don't see it. I'm just curious. Do you know where it is? Chamber of Commerce or uh, Chamber. Okay. City Hall. City Hall. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. But why did they tell me it was in Town Square? Lies. Okay. Let's check it out. Maybe it's Chamber. Let's. We're, we're gonna find out. It's gonna be fun. Dee 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 dee. Adventures, adventures, adventures. Ah, so pretty. I remember being here when we had that giveaway for the uh, Very Merry Christmas party. I had bought an extra ticket and I told Ian, hey, do a last minute giveaway. First person to find me at the railroad wins. <laughs> so I did have one of our viewers who ended up being a cast member actually find me, which was really good. I bet you he knows where it is. Up, oh, it's doing it again. Question for you. Where is that old timey phone that you can pick up and you hear the party line? Uh, I don't know. They right. said it's not. Tony's told me it's. Chapeau. It, they have is it at that. the Chapeau? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. They've got me running all over uh, Town Square here, y'all. It's at the Chapeau. Okay, Chapeau it is. It's in the hat shop. Kiss goodnight. Yeah. Yeah, chapeau. There you go. They got me running all over town. Why did they tell me it was Tony's Town Square? Somebody lied to me. I have never physically seen that phone. That's why. I've been in the chapeau a million times with Rob because, you know, who in the family has a pen addiction? Not me. I'm <laughs> just kidding. It's Rob. We already know. Yeah, they'll just keep playing the Kiss Goodnight over and over and over till like, because we basically have another hour, you know, because the shops stay open an hour after park close. So the shops don't close until 11. Ooh, look at the pen board dough. Ah, there it is. doesn't have a receiver now though oh it's broken oh no it's there you can't hear it anymore always but there's the phone but no receiver so it doesn't work anymore it just rings but it has no receiver so somebody broke it we can't have nice things guys we can't have nice things <laughs> so it's no longer a cute little ditty to find because it's now been broken. Oh no, the tragedy, the tragedy. Plenty of ears. Like the green one that looks like broccoli, the yellow one that everyone thinks 
Yeah. 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 But looks like a Quidditch broom. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Oh no, they got a new one, guys. They have an up bow. Wow, that's new. That must have just come out. Nice, you guys. They've got an up bow. Because these are the interchangeable ears. So you start with the headband, and then you can get any different bow you'd like. The initial, the starter one is $29.99, and these are $16.99. Ooh, they got a new one as well. I've seen Dumbo before. That's new. I like it. There's the Haunted Mansion one. That's pretty. I like the fabric, though. That's cute. Got the up bow. I love that. Oh yeah. It's pretty. Oh, you are so sweet. If you check out my um my YouTube channel, Daryl, it's a Earsome Emporium on um on YouTube. Um, also, if you go to my Genevieve Earsome Facebook page, um, like my P.O. Box information, if you guys want to send me postcards or anything at all, I have a P.O. Box. You are more than welcome. If you just show me where you're at, I mean, yeah, I have a P.O. Box. That information is listed on my, it's on my About page, I believe, on Facebook. And it's also on my YouTube channel in the about the description box below. It's Earsome Emporium and YouTube. All my socials and my Insta and all of that is on there. Um, I usually link it at the bottom of the description box. It may be on this one or the one before. I usually try to link all my social media links and everything at the very bottom of the video. If you click on the description box of the streams. Yeah, if you ever want to find the rest of my you know social media so we can stay connected since we have a big ohana here all the socials are listed on there or if you go to my facebook page it's genevieve earsome and all my links to my other socials are on there but all of that, uh, that other i know for sure that information is on my youtube channel it's earsome emporium it's all listed on the about page so all the links are on there too yeah Oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh, no, you missed it, Samara. No. Yeah, I was wondering what that bow was, too, like who it was. I'm like, is that Dory? I couldn't tell. Like, it didn't immediately pop out at me, you know. I'm like, who is that? I'm like, is it Genie? Is it? I think it's Genie, isn't it? But there's not enough red in it. I don't know. It looks like Dory. Oh, we've got the electrical parade. We've got the water pageant. Fun. It's about the closest thing we have to the Main Street Electrical Parade since we have no longer. Let me get to the water here. I used to watch this every single night. So it's more Dory than, okay. It's not, is it, nah, is it Beauty and the Beast? Was it Beast, is that what that is? See, it's kind of hard, right? You are so sweet. Is it Dory? <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell with those bows. Very confusing. I don't want to go through security over here. I know they're not there anymore, but. <laughs> Trying to catch the water pageant. Shh, I'm showing you security, but nobody's here now. It's not that complicated, but they get all twitchy. You just can't, you know, you just can't stream during. Um, there you go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yay. Well, I hope you had an awesome vacation, Leanne. Yeah, open it. It's already closed for sure, but I'm just trying to catch the end of this water pageant. I used to see it every day when I worked at, um... Wilderness Lodge 
because it used to drive by my location at Geyser Point. I used to see it all the time when I was working. Ah, oh, thanks, Corey. You're so sweet. Oh, wow. 1975, Jan. That is awesome. 50 bucks a night. I wish. It could be Snow White. You see, we have so many people that think it could be. And, and nothing jumps out at me right off the bat with that one bow. I was like, what is it? Is it Beast? Is it Dory? Could be Snow White. Could be Genie. Because it has that jewel, you know? Oh, this is the end of the night. This is it. End of the night. Oh, Saratoga, you're right by Disney Springs. We got a boat jam. back Monday for Magical Monday. Yeah, we were here Monday and Thursday this week. I usually do Monday and Friday, but I am off. Yes, since you're just joining us, Samara, I can tell everybody else I am off Friday and Saturday. So I'm not streaming tomorrow, Saturday, but you have uh, Tanya, you have Bob and Dee and Tori and Tara. There's a bunch of different springs, uh, different streams tomorrow and Saturday. I believe they're doing Kennedy Space Center on Saturday, so that should be super duper fun. You know, if you guys have never been to Kennedy Space Center, they used to have Space Camp back in the day. I remember that. So, you know, who's who's old enough to remember Space Camp? But apparently they don't do Space Camp anymore. I love that. That was cool. Yes, Geyser Point is the outside bar at Wilderness Lodge. Yes, I used to work at that location. That was my very first location I worked at. But me and the bugs did not get along. It was awesome because I got to hear Happily Ever After at night. And I used to see the water pageant. But I would get eaten alive by mosquitoes. So it really didn't work out well for me. You know, I just did my obligatory three months there. And I ended up transferring out just because I was getting eaten alive by the bugs and the bees. <laughs> So it doesn't work well if you're allergic. So I was like, mm, probably not. I thought, oh, it'd be, it's beautiful location, beautiful resort. I just, me and the bugs do not get along. <laughs> and it was very, very hot in the summer. I was working there in July. There's like no cross breeze and the mosquitoes were very severe because you're right by the water. They do spray every single day, but it's just really, really hard to, um... oh no, I'm trying to show you where the, it says, um, the bus to TTC is over here. So uh, 27 and 28. It's the very first bus stop right there if you want to take the bus to the TTC instead of waiting for the uh, ferry boat or the monorail. So especially when it's super duper high season and it's really crazy, take the bus. The bus is faster. Awesome. Yep. It's super fun. Geyser is fun. The green screen at Epcot? Oh, you just have to ask, you mean the special effects when they have like Orange Bird and stuff? You have to ask the photo pass. Sometimes it's in front of Spaceship Earth. Um, Epcot has the bubble gum. You're talking about there's a bubble gum wall there. Purple wall is here. The moss wall, the green moss wall is at Animal Kingdom. But there's green screen ones. You have to ask each photo pass like, hey, um, which, you know, digital effect do you have? Do you have Orange Bird? You could do Tinkerbell. Like sometimes they have like, oh, Orange Bird on your hand. So just ask your photo pass. It's usually like the ones right by Spaceship Earth, the one right by, um, by Figment. So ask your photo pass photographer that you want a special digital effect. Well, I hope you do all well on your exam, Samara. Do a, do a lot of studying and do awesome on your test. You better get an A. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. 
Yes, Julie does stream on this page. She does main page and and uh, and VIP. So we do have a VIP page as well. The link is uh, our Patreon page there. We have quite a bit of VIP. So they have like their own page where, you know, you can kind of help say, say where do you want to go like want to do quick service locations that kind of thing yes julie does stream both facebook and um main page she does she does mainly a lot of vip though so for sure for sure that's kind of fun they do a lot of more resort tours that kind of thing over there on uh and uh the patreon page it's like five bucks a month so it's really quite a fun thing you know Mainly it's just to really help support the channel and just have some more extra live streams that are more intimate group. That's a smaller group for sure there, but it's super fun. You know, we're just trying to help grow the channel that way, you know, now we have a bigger team too, which is great. Cause you know, the more we grow, the more we'll be able to bring you guys more cool things at all times, you know. We wanna have streams seven days a week. 24 hours a day if possible like that's the dream you know what I mean so it doesn't matter what time of day it is you're gonna find something to watch and that's kind of you know what we want to do in the future <laughs> Oh, yeah, I could be Paula. We're gonna have to ask then am I going to Costco and I have to go to work my love I have to actually like work work <laughs> no not Costco tomorrow um, yeah I'm sure Rob will probably go Saturday Saturday I'll probably go to Costco after I sleep in because I have to work till 3 30 in the morning so I'm going into work at 3 30 I probably won't get home till 3 30 Saturday morning so <laughs> I will see you guys till Sunday for sure yeah 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 there you go Julie's streaming as well tomorrow I have to check the calendar uh, I, I didn't really check it. I think Julie, Tori, Tanya, everybody's streaming tomorrow. So you got plenty of people to hang out with and and they will entertain you. They will, they will. I can check actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to go home now for sure. Uh, good Friday the 13th. Oh, that should be a fun day at work tomorrow. That's making me nervous now. <laughs> Is it Emerson? Okay. Oh no. Well, welcome to the page, Chad. Definitely subscribe and click your notifications. That way you can come join the party every time we come live. And we're always hanging out doing something fun. Welcome to our little family here. Till 2 a.m. Oh, no. Oh, that's right. You worked at Whispering Canyon. I forgot about that. Yes. Ah, gotcha. Ooh, milkshakes. I know, yeah, Julie's mainly on the, um, you know, she's been working too, but she's mainly on the um, VIP because she's been doing, she usually does a lot of VIP, so. Yep, that's where she's at. She's she's still here. She just does a lot of VIP, so if you definitely want to see Miss Julie, she'll see her tomorrow, but she's a lot of it, she's on VIP. Yeah. Yep, yep, easy peasy today. Ooh, skillet, sounds good. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you guys for, um, yeah, we'll be all right. Yeah, this is our little security. Oh, look, I can film it now because they're not here. This is like the easiest little quick ditty there because boom, you're in. Oh, we even rode Space Mountain on Monday and I didn't get sick. They just shook me all about, but <laughs> I did my once a year Space Mountain ride. Wee! <laughs> Thanks guys, appreciate it. Oh, absolutely, you guys are always a pleasure. You guys are amazing. I thank you guys so much for spending all this time with us. It really means so much to me and all of us here. We appreciate you guys and your support because you know, it makes it all worthwhile. Just, you know, appreciating it. It makes me motivated to do this every day, <laughs> you know. Because I know if I didn't live in Orlando, I'd be watching streams nonstop because I would <laughs> I would have Disney withdrawal really bad. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Yeah. It's the easiest. Ooh, 
The easiest way to get in and out of here is at the contemporary. You're like right here. Ooh, 18 seconds. Move fast or the bus will run you over. <laughs> yep, got cats parking right here. Makes it easy. Oh, Jen's dropping everything. Alrighty. Lovely. Um, there's cast parking right here. And if you eat here, you can park here. So you have to have a, if you have a lunch or dinner reservation, you can park at the, any resort because you can, anybody can eat at the resort. You have to eat there, but they do have cast parking right here, just FYI. <laughs> so, you know, that does come in handy. Yeah, we're good. Thank you so much. Yep. No little cousin yet, Alicia? Goodness. Sometimes that, uh, sometimes your little, sometimes babies just don't come when they're supposed to come, right? They're just like, nope, not today, not today. One of my friends was like two weeks overdue. And she's a little tiny thing, too. She was just like, get him out of here. He was just too comfortable and didn't want to come out. <laughs> yeah, I have another girl at my work, too, that she's tiny. She's probably 4'11", same thing, very, very, sh like, short. I'm, I'm 5'2 and 3 quarters, but my other friend, she's really, really short, too, and she's, um, you know, she's pregnant, and so she's our first person that uh, we've worked at that's actually, you know, pregnant behind the bar. Should be interesting because the bigger she gets, how she's going to fit back there. We've had boys whose wives had had kids. I'm like, it doesn't count because they're boys, you know, they weren't having to work pregnant like that but it's hard <laughs> so I think we're we try to keep it easy for her and you know accommodate her best as we can because it's got it can't be easy standing on your feet for you know that long of a time and you know you're can't be comfortable <laughs> but I'm here so I will see you guys on Sunday Oh, you're welcome, guys. Yeah, I make magic. I work in food and beverage, so. I'm a bartender. I bartend for a living. I am a potions master. That's what I do. That's what I've done for a very, very long time. <laughs> so, I'm a certified. Actually, I, I did bartend in Vegas as well. So, it's something I do very well, and I've done it before. So, for a very, very long time, actually. So, yep, that's what I do. I work in food and beverage. I love it. Wouldn't trade it for the world. So, I will see you guys later. Are oh, you got vegetables too? I hope not just groceries. Thanks guys so much. Have a good night. It's been awesome. I will see you guys later. Have a good night. Get some beauty sleep. I will see you Sunday, okay? Thank you very much. Much love. Love you guys so much. Good night.